off to one side of your sketchbook, any blank page, preferably with nothing on the back of it. I want you to trace the ruler's edge, and then I'd like you to mark it off at the inch by the numbers. And what I'd like to do is just start at, you know, 7 inches, 6, 5, and so on. And all we're going to do is create a bar that we can use as our shading bar, kind of a value bar. And we'll make value bar when we do ink and shade with ink. We'll do it with color uh, when we use colored pencils. All we're going to do is make a value bar. And like I said, value is the lightness or darkness. Okay. So, um, and what we'll do is with this bar, this will be white. And it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. This will be our darkest dark. Here's what artists will do. I can't enlarge when I'm on video. They'll start with the lightest pencil in the mix. All right? Go back to your cheat sheet. Which one is our lightest pencil, you guys? 2H. Thank you. So I'm going to use the 2H, and I'm going to get started. Victoria just, Vic, Vicky just said, uh, you know, I honestly like to only use a few pencils. And what I do is I just change the pressure of my hand. That's really good advice. Um, because the pencils are really great, but you also have to use the pressure of your hand. So how these pencils are supposed to work is you start with the lightest one, and as I transition from one box to another, I'm going to start to sort of lighten my pressure slightly. But you can notice, even when I was pressing really hard up there, it's still fairly light, isn't it? And that's because this 2H, it can only get so dark no matter how hard I push. I think I told you a little bit about HB pencils already. That's actually what all number two pencils are is HBs, and that's why I have those around too. Um, all those are like that because then this, no matter how hard or soft you push, the computer can read the range. So I'm lightening my pressure as Vicky suggested, and that takes a little bit of practice. And what I'm hoping to do is, you know, when I blur my eyes, I've kind of worked from dark to light with my 2H. Then I'll transition to an HB, which I've got in the drawing pencil, or I could use this one. Um, and I'm going to actually do this again. Okay, and I'm going to push hard in the first box. And as I come down, I'm going to lighten my pressure. Now... The H pencils are going to be the pencils that form my lighter values. So I'm probably not going to bring this, the Bs down in here at all. So this HB, I'm going to stop probably right about the 2 on my scale. So what, I'm, what, what we'll end up doing is this will be uh, in this area where we'll only use our H's. In this area up here is where we're going to use the Bs. So now I'm going to transition into my first B. And you can see the first one I drag all the way down. That one's the most work. But as we go on, we're only going to take the B. And you can see when I transition to the soft lead, how much darker that gets. We're only going to take that B down a little ways because the Bs are meant for getting darks, right? We don't want to drag those all the way down and make more work for ourselves. I'll bring this down into the, you know, just around the three box. All right, and then I'm going to stop. And I'm really lightening my pressure here as I'm, as I'm getting into this area. Pressure, how hard you're pushing on that. You can always go back. You can always go back and smooth things out. You know, this is all practice as well. So, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because we're learning with this. And I would keep going. I'm going to go to 2B. I'm going to go to 4B. And this box will get pretty dark, but we're, we're only going to go down a little ways. All right? Um, most people, and make sure I got you back here. I'm going to let you work in a minute. Most people, when they shade, my experience, when they come into my class, here's what I see. Most people use one pencil. Sean, can I get you two? Uh, I don't want to lose you. I'm sorry. I'm taking a while here. I, most people do this, and then they do this. They smear it. Okay? Um, I don't want you to shade with your fingers. Not for a while, anyway, until we get to charcoal and pastel. 
okay? If you use the pencils and the pressure of your hand, can you see with this how, how, how few values you've got? You don't have much value with this, and we want to try to get more values, all right? So what I want you to do today is try to get a value scale and try to practice using these pencils on one piece, on one piece in your sketchbook. Leave this area open because we're going to be drawing something over here to shade. That's all for today.